Hey guys, um, it's me back. Um, I'm going to tell you how to, um, we'll show you how to build a Minecraft control panel. So, um, I have another control panel. Sorry, I need to be a little bit quieter. But, um, I have another control panel over there that I made another video. But for now, I'm just going to be starting with a little wall, four blocks high. You can make it as long as you want, but I just want to make it this long because I kind of want to. Um, so, I'm going to just kind of make it high a little bit. It's four blocks high. Four blocks, not too high. Sorry, I'm kind of lagging right now. Okay, that's better. I was moving a little bit. And then I'm just going to make a little... So like that. Now I'm just making a little area, space, whatever. But so the first one I, I like this for my command um, is if you're playing in a multiplayer world, you can do slash kill anybody. Um, blah, 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 blah. You can do anybody. Ooh, whatever their name is. Um, it's pretty good. Make sure you make your command blocks um, one block away from each. This one I like to do slash weather. Rain, so I can set the so you can make um it rain sometimes, exactly like so. Sorry, I keep click on the button. So my friend's watching this right now, um, but then um you can also put down this and say slash weather where, yeah, can't make it small. Um, but I wonder if you can. <laughs> I'll try. But, yeah, I should try. Anyway, that will clear the weather. Clear, clear, clear the weather. And then um, my friend suggested over there that if I could do a slash weather snow, which I know will not happen because I actually tested it once. Try. And it won't do it. <sighs> so anyway. This one, no, we're not doing weather. Um, snow. We're doing weather. Thunder. It's gonna make it thunder. It's gonna turn dark. It's gonna start thundering. Then, um, my other favorite. Oh, thunder. Oh, that's cool. And you can put signs to show it, but then anyway. This one, I'll like. Before I do this, here, I'm gonna do a slash spawn point right here just to see what it is. Slash spawn point. Get out a piece of paper so you can write down what the X, Y, and Z is. So that's a uh, minus 400, 41028. So now, I go over to my. Um, command block over here, I can do slash summon TNT, and I can type in the minus 400 um, for 1028. Done. And then I can run right there, and it'll blow up, so I can be like or I can just put a lever there. Wah ha 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 ha. Yeah, basically. But if I want to turn it to repeat, then I can um, shift and. Oh my god, that's lagging. And it pushes you away too. Oh my god, I'm lagging so badly. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you can be overpowered with that. And the other ones, um, you can ju just give yourself items like slash give uh, diamond sword. Do an undercore for that. Oh my god.
and then they can get a diamond sword when you press the nope, I'm not doing that. I'm going back back to that. In the bottom box. This one. Just give you a little diamond sword there. And then you can do the same with the chest plate slash give. Um if you're on a multiplayer world then um click it to you. Um um, by the way, AP, um, does random players, but I think, I mean, nearest players, but just do yourself. Diamond chest plate this time. Chest plate. And then, once you press the button, give you a chest plate. Now you can do it with all the other things, like, um, leggings and all that thing, but I don't have time for that. Um, all you have to do is when you do the diamond after diamond or whatever you want to do with iron, wood, no, not wood, sorry, iron, diamond, all those things, put it under core. All you have to do is press shift and then do the little minus button thingy and then chest plate. So, guys, um, hope you enjoy. That is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and peace.